The women's 67 kg Brazilian representation with Terezinha Santos, Brittany Renzi of Ireland, Paulina Krasvetska, Putsiak of Poland, Kim Yonghoi of Korea, and we kick off with Fifi Lakula of the Republic of Congo. He's going to get us underway with an attempt of 55. First major championship for her, based in Brazzaville, in the capital, and a coach alongside it on the stage, Julian Akamola Mutaku. So the first round attempts going up to 97. Tons all the way from there in Group A. There's quite a gap between Fifi Lakula and Teresina Santos is going next, and then uh, quite another gap between those two and Brittany Renzi, who will be third to go in this opening round of Group B. Terribly straight, but only down if it's no lifting. Two, one against. So she'll have to come back say mark so Fifi Lakula missing out at 55 problem was on the way down and yeah there Weights on the right. Majorly weighed down. 50 years to the anniversary of the 1968 Olympic Games coming next year, which this venue was built for. And still in great condition. And uh, normally would be staging two basketball games this week, but not this week because we're here. NBA's also in town, by the way. They've got games tomorrow night and on Saturday. The Rosina Santos for Brazil now in the 67 kg weight division. Fifth in her home Paralympic Games in Rio. She won silver at the World Cup in Ege in Hungary in May. Spotted a sport on TV and like the idea of it. team coaches for Brazil from Natal up in the northeast previous world championship appearance was 2010 in the Kuala Lumpur where she finished in eighth place in terms of where she's seeded to finish she's starting 10th so looking to climb and rapidly up and there'll be little fault found with that three out of three Teresina Santos up and running she gets the first successful lift of the competition excellently done Standing in ceremony, rapidly up, fast, clean and smooth. Very 
very good attempt. So next to go for Ireland will be Brittany Orenzi. Uh, so here she comes, going for 82. She finished second in the World Juniors here on Saturday. She was actually a bit ill on the day. Had woken up at 5 a.m. But we're told, feeling a better fettle today. Originally from South Africa, now lives in Cavan, which is near the border with Northern Ireland. Families here, Mum Brigitte. So 82 then for the lead. Lifted uh, 78 but missed out at 80 and 82 on Saturday. Get up the early bet. No problem at all in getting it raised. <laughs> and Brittany Renzi is the new early leader for Ireland. Three out of three. Good, solid lift. Nice and confident. And the way in clear on 82. Solid and uh, that's the weight she was winding off on. And Saturday didn't get it, only cleared 78 there, missed 80, missed 82. But here, 82 to start with, and immediately. What a bit of difficulty. So now for Poland and hopping straight up, she's going to get the gold medal for the quickest lift of the week, without a doubt. Didn't need to walk up the bank, hopped up the step. It was a big step. Nobody's taken that step all week. So Paulina Pizvetska Putsiak of Poland. Silver in the Europeans, last time they were held in Eger in Hungary. Sixth in the last World Championships in 2010 and bronze back in Egger at the World Cup in May. Going for 87 in this opening round was originally looking at uh, 93. Going for something a bit more achievable. And six kilos lighter. So Kisveska Putiak. That was a solid lift, and that will put her Goal. into the lead. Three out of three. Not much difficulty for her either. We're absolutely zipping through the opening stage here. Quality lift straight away, so Paulina. Pizvetska Putsia from Bidgosh. 26 now, started at the age of 14. And that was a, a cracking lift. Standard's been terrific so far early on here. Well, long may it continue. Korea and she's going to go straight away for 
97 and a whopping lead. No mark registered at the Paralympic Games in Rio, but she was fourth in the last Asian Games. On home soil in Incheon, three years ago. Kim Jai Young, her coach. And you get that two to one. Wasn't penalized too strongly for uh, a little straightness issue. And at the end, you uh, see the left weight been down a little bit compared to the right, but that's fine. So four out of five clearing in the opening round, and that's very, very impressive indeed, right across the board. So into round two we go then, and this is a competition which probably wrapped up very quickly. So back to Fifi Lukula going again for 55. Missed it in the first round. against last time so slight improvement Fifi Lakula Lulando out again the uh, three red lights from our three referees Lee Yu Jin from Korea Nusai Mohammed of Malaysia and Alessa Paru of Russia so in a bit of jeopardy here of being wiped out not registering a mark all very very tentative so second round attempt to Brazil's Terezinha Santos who cleared 65 last time going for 75 here she'll stay in fourth place she started off 17 kilos behind Ireland's Brittany Renzi
zipping through the opening rounds here in Mexico City. Major international successes. It's interesting to see her start uh, quite low in terms of weight. Backwards a bit, she'll be penalised by one, but not the other two. Gets it by two to one. And that's a good improvement of ten for her. In this 67th kg event. Tan Yu Zhao with the gold of the Paralympic Games. We'll see her a little later. Rosina Santos started with 88 in Rio at the Paralympics and starting way, way lower here. Uh, cleared 93 in the second round there and missed out with 98 in the final round that would have got her the bronze, well, actually would have got her fourth place. <laughs> so Brittany Renzi returns. Slight leap in Attempt here from 82 to 84. Still only 17 years old. It's a birthday in a couple of weeks' time. Saturday week. She'll be 18. by Brittany Renzi this time. One of the junior competitions of both the Dubai and Egger World Cup events this year. will cost her three voting against stays on 82 that uh, attempt would have kept her in third place anyway had she got the 84 at the moment that's what she's slated to go for in round three but going in that increments the way she's nodding maybe she wants to do 86 in the next round if they're going to follow the same pattern just stopped there and that was it and, and uh, straight this issue kicked in and uh, she wants to forgive me for that Alina Prisvetska Putsiak for Poland, there she goes, stops up again. And she's on the bar with still barely 10 seconds gone on the clock. That's fabulous. I cleared 87 fabulously in the previous round, and that's going for 90 here. Sixth and last World Championships, which is seven years ago now in Kuala Lumpur. World Championships previously had been every four years, but now alternating in odd number years. So a little mishap when you run up to the competition and you miss out then uh, don't have to wait as long as this if they follow the old calendar then the world championships will be next year so 90 for Zvitska okay. at 90 pushing through struggled against it 
but gets it two to one. Did enough, did more than enough to make it work. So the interesting thing about all the attempts we've seen in the second round is nobody's looking to move up a place. Let's get Putziak with 90. Him above her is at 97, and perhaps that really is too much for her to go for. But 90 was very solid, and she stays in second position. of Korea. Seventh in the last World Championships in 2014 in Dubai and was 10th before that in 2010 in Kuala Lumpur. With that Asian Games fourth place gives her a, a good prospect next year when Kuala Lumpur is on the calendar again for the 2018 Asian Para Games. leap 15 <laughs> more than Pizveska Putsiak has attempted yeah! just mm. the wrong way all three going against now how'd she managed to get that through 105 there are only two first round attempts heavier than that the good worthy effort Fought uh, against that. Missed out at 105. And at the moment, aim for again is Fifi Lakula again from the Republic of Congo. Gunning for 55. Third and final attempt of the same weight. Competition hasn't gone to plan for at all. Um, all three going contrary to the lift in the second round. <laughs> so 55. There are going to be attempts in this round for a bit of overtaking. Uh, Fifi Lakula won't be effective with that. Just to get on the board will be the important thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, she won't, though. And she does not get on the board. Yeah. Congolese wiped out. Successful with all three attempts and stuck at 55 all the way through. Considered to be slowly done and too tentative and went against 
So, Teresina Santos, and this is where the overtaking manoeuvres will begin. Brittany Arenzi's on 82, Teresina Santos going for 82, and she has the nod, the body weight. She's successful at this. Well, so close to finishing fourth. Set. But Alan James away with six instead. <laughs> Let's see if she's made it. She has not. And all three have uh, gone away from that. So she finishes on 75, does Teresina Santos. And that's fourth in the group, which means Brittany Arenzi of Ireland successfully defended her third place ahead of her final attempt. Just beginning to drift a bit back. Renzi returns and she'll be third going into Group A. And wasn't overtaken by Teresina Santos in the end. Going for 84, which she missed out on last time. Cleared 82 with uh, apparent ease in the opening round. She uh, caused her a bit of trouble during the Junior World Championships in this stadium on Saturday. She still plays a bit as well. So Brittany Renzi for 84. She'll Set. stay in third place. All the way up. Go on, Brittany. Go on. Go on. Will they give her the nod this time? <laughs> Missed out again at 84. All three going against. Looking to push through. Again, just stalled a little bit on the way up she finishes with 82 but, uh, better weight than the world championships and she turns 18 next week end of next week Irish team done and dusted they only had two here this time herself and Nicola Dorr who's also watching with Brittany's family at the back of the venue just there she would have been okay so now here's Paulina there she goes popping up 87 and 90 cleared so far going for 97 here and this would be the lead she's got the nod and the head-to-head -head over Kim Jung-hui 
by over two kilograms in body weight. But this would put her in front. Gasket 97, and she's not going to get it up there. So she finishes on 90 and did a solid enough job with the first two attempts of 87 and 90, and saw an opening there. She's 26 years old. It's Paulina Pizvetska Pudziak, and having won silver at the last Europeans aiming for more medals at the Europeans next year in France. Just a little bit too much for in the end, really. It was a leap of seven kilograms to match what Kim had done earlier. It's next May, the end of May, when Burke Sumer, the uh, northern coast, hosts the European Powerlifting Championships. So Kim hyung Hoi. Clearing 97, she has claimed Group B. So Hyung Hoi going again for 105, having missed it in the previous round. way, way up in the standings. Only the last two going in Group A would be in a position to overtake her at the end of their opening round. through again, but it's denied again. All three going again, so 97, her best performance. No successful lift in that third and final round for anybody. Santos in fourth, Arenzi third, Zvetka Pudziak in second spot behind Kim jung -hui. Again, just too much of a challenge. champion she comes right at the end of this opening round but some Kunanon is going to go first originally aiming for a hundred but uh, scaling that down to 98 and that would be the lead anyway for the Thai lifter previously a world and Paralympic bronze medalist and silver at the Paralympics in Sydney 2000 Bronze in Beijing in 08, fourth in Athens in 04. 2002 World Championship bronze medalist, but still winning major championship medals as she claimed the silver behind Tan Yu Zhao at the last Asian Para Games.
So the first lifter in Group A. Yeah! A lot in that attempt of 98, Ooh. but it's good for her. Two out of the three. And that gives her the lead. Overtaking Kim. Let's say if Kim had got either of those 105s, would have been better than uh, the first four attempts in Group A. But Anon has surpassed them all. Russian Kushibieva of Kazakhstan, who's going for 100. The Paralympic silver medalist in Rio, starting somewhat low in comparison though today. Love at first sight with powerlifting, she said. Sixth at the Asian Games in 2014, but uh, a thumping achievement in Rio. 108 she got in the opening round there. 113 in the final round. Only Tan Yu Zhao above her with a world record of 138.5. Set her on the road to potentially uh, another medal. And she's starting eight kilos lighter than she did at the Paralympic Games. One Paralympics, one World Championship she's competed in previously. So this for a hundred for Kosha Bieva. Raised it with ease, and she's uh, got it by two to one. Maybe there will be considerable leaps coming from it to try and get among the medals. She's got 100. And into the lead with four to go in this opening round of Group A. Solid push through, gets the 100, smiles all round. And that has her on the way. Sibel Jam of Turkey, and she's starting off with 103. Ninth at the Paralympics, that was in a different weight category. Fourth at the last Europeans in Eger in 2015, and at her first World Championships in Dubai in 2014, she finished in sixth place. Started in this at the age of 21, she's 27 now. Semi Taylan, her coach. 103 for the lead. Fourth heaviest height being attempted in this opening round of Group A. 103. Yeah! Count. Set. Set. Punched her way through it well. Yeah. And into the lead. Three out of three for Sibel Champ. That has her up and running. And again, quite faultless. Excellent lift. It was 
was uh, two weights down at 55 kilograms that she finished ninth in the Paralympic Games, moved up a couple and good quality lift there. Gihan Abdelaziz of Egypt going for 105 straight away. Originally going to go for 100 and would have had her lifting first in the competition, but she's going third last instead. World champion back in 2002 in Kuala Lumpur, Paralympic silver medalist in Athens, and still winning major championship medals. She's the full set at the Worlds. 02 gold, 2010 silver, 2014 bronze, and she won at the World Cup in Eger in May. So 105 for Gihan Abdelaziz. Great atmosphere at that competition. It'll be a split decision, but it's in her favour by two to one. A little bit of backward movement, but that was okay. Sabdal Aziz gets things going at 105. Aziz, 105 has her in front. Well, Nigeria have been great performers in recent major championships. Didn't have anyone in the 67 kg in this event of the Paralympic Games, but they medaled across the board pretty much everywhere else. Alight and Ibrahim here going for 110. Her first major championship coached by Thea Satanare, as much the entire team is. That's five up from Gihan Abdulaziz. Being attempted in this first round, didn't seem to take anything out of a light on Ibrahim at all. And she gets it. Scarily impressive. Two to one in her favour. And Ibrahim leads for Nigeria. Well, one more lift to go in this first round, and that might uh, blow everybody else out of the water. But if not, right now we've got all six in Group A who've got a great chance of a medal and who are fighting for it. Decent crowds in again today at the Wondola Barrera Gymnasium. <laughs> Well, if this weight is achieved by Tan Yu Zhao of China, the reigning Asian Games world and Paralympic champion and world record holder, that will be that. 138 and a half in Rio. She set the outgoing world record at the Asian Championships at the end of 2015.
Looked good. Is good. Three out of three in the lead by a long way. 20 kilos clear. There may be a challenge coming from Isla Tan Ibrahim, but I think that's everybody. Pretty much out of the equation for the gold. Terrific lift for 130 by the reigning world and Paralympic champion. He's all the titles. Asian champion as well, as well as the Asian Games. So Som Kun and on coming back on for 103. Now 103 before Tan's lift was in the bronze medal position and she'd have got it on the body weight two in the head-to-head -head with Sibel Chiam. But she's going for it anyway. This would be for fourth. Kobishieva will be going for 104. That's interesting. That'll still also only be for fourth. Jam Abdulaziz. A big fight for the bronze medal at the moment and not attempting to overtake Olitin Ibrahim for the moment. We'll uh, concentrate on those as this second round continues. Somku Kanon going for 103, currently in sixth place, and this would put her up into fourth. in the opening round. Didn't have a lot of time left and uh, didn't have a lot of energy left either. Missing out at 103. struggled with that and uh, the spotters having to jump in so sixth may be as good as it gets for her she added an extra five onto the bar Russia. so now Russian Koshibieva looking to leap to 104 and this would be fourth place currently lying fifth Because she be Ava having claimed that Paralympic silver medal. Hundred and four. But it's uh, obviously a stepping stone towards the medals. No point throwing everything in the bar straight away. Should be over. Gets this, gets solidly into medal contention. Wasn't the smoothest, and she's not going to be given it either. So, big choice to come in the next round uh, if she's to have a tilt for a medal or not. But 
denied for now. Bit of a stronger cleaner push up. Was what was required. So, Sibel Sham and Gihan Abdulaziz have both got to go for 106. And Abdulaziz considerably has the lighter body weight when it comes to the head to head. So she's going to go first. 106. Silver and bronze in world championship history, plus that Olympic silver medal. Finished fourth at London 106. Just to put her into the bronze middle position above seatbelt jam. Oh! It'll be a, a split decision against her, two to one. Looked like she felt she'd got it as well. five missed 106 still in third place she only actually added one kilo to that try and fend off Sibel Cham here comes Sibel Cham going for 106 and she gets this she goes into third spot Sham for 106. Well Best finish in a global championship, sixth at the last Worlds. And this, with a round to go to break into the medals. Fighting for it and just denied. Now that was a leap of three. No lift for her. Is 106 beyond her? She'll have another attempt at it. Nobody so far successful in this second round. From here, problems on the way up. Big problems. So Alaitan Ibrahim got 110 last time. This for 120. Tan Yu Zhao is leading on 130. will be 
an attempt to try and overtake her first round attempt. In round three from Gihan Abdulaziz. So this is virtually a lift for the silver medal. for Ibrahim, a major championship debut, ready to become another major championship medalist for Nigeria. 120, it would keep the heat on Tan Yuzhou, certainly, but she has not got the nod. All three say no. And with that, Tan seems pretty secure in the gold medal position. Ibrahim still has a fight to defend the silver medal. Having missed out at 120, still at 110. And Abdulaziz is going to have a good go at 111. Tan Yu Zhao, though. Pretty certain the gold medal is hers. And if this goes up, it definitely will be. Attaining the world title. This for 135. Ibrahim at the moment looks as if she's only going to go for 120 in round three. I say only in comparison to Tan's successful attempt in round one. Which is 10 beyond that. This is only three and a half off the world record. She's won the gold. Ibrahim after going for 120 in round three. 135. Three and a half kilos off her world record. She's got all the titles right now. And she has another one. World champion for the second time. All three in her favour. Asian Games, Asian Paralympic, and now twice world champion Tan Yu Zhao. Ibrahim going for 120 in the next round, and Tan unassailable. Ibrahim still has a bit of a battle to hold on to the silver, but that was just terrific. to round off for Thailand, Sumkuk and on. Missed out on 103 last time, going for it again. And this would see a leap from six to fourth. An extra two kilos would have matched the bronze medal mark, but would have needed another one on top of that due to the head-to-head uh, -head going against it. So 103. Go up into fourth position. Three 
global championship medals, Paralympic silver and bronze, world bronze for the most recent of those nine years ago. And this will be her best result in seven years if she gets this and no one can overtake. Fourth in the 2010 World Championships in Kuala Lumpur. She's the reigning Southeast Asian champion. was claimed earlier this year again in Kuala Lumpur but she's not going to improve on that so 98 it remains and she will finish in sixth place 98 kg her best performance well, we only had one successful lift in round two that came from Tan everybody else missing out stakes certainly getting higher in this final round and the weights too So now a five-way battle for the medals. Tanya Zhao is one for China. Alaito Ibrahim of Nigeria. The silver not yet secured. Akusha Bieva and Cham. All aiming for the bronze medal position. The Gihan Abdulaziz is currently in and Abdulaziz gunning for Ibrahim's silver. Silver at the Paralympic Games. Well, she's planned this well, didn't go too high too early. And now has a lift that would put her into the top three. Should be Ava for 106. Oh, she was fighting against it, and it was the same as the previous lift at 104. It's all gone against her, and so her best of the competition is 100, and she finishes in fifth place. But that was a good effort. Last two efforts were worth it. Definitely worth a crack. So Sibyl Champ going into this final lift in fourth place. Struggled with 106 last time. And she's aiming for 107 here because of course she had been successful at the 106 and this is the only way Xiam would have got into third place. It is asking a huge amount. Six, she couldn't lift. Yeah. 
107. She lifted any further, she can't, and she misses out on the medals. No Finishes in fourth place, does Sibel Cham. Problems for her with the last two lifts. And obviously, when you get to this situation, you're doing your best not to go in too far. But she needed to go for 106 in order to have the attempt at the medal. So we know the three medalists. We know that Tan is our world champion. Now it's all about silver and bronze. Alatane Ibrahim currently in second place for Nigeria, lifting 110 in the first round. Missed 120 last time out. And Gihan Abdulaziz going for 110 here in order to get ahead of her on the head to head. She's been here before, she's been a world champion previously. And 110 to get into the medals ahead of Ibrahim. It's bronze at least for her. This to go into the silver medal position. Ibrahim with still one more attempt to go. Silver, no wavering, I'm afraid. It is bronze for Gihan Abdulaziz. Ibrahim of Nigeria winning the silver and Tan Yu Zhao of China is the world champion. Well, it was a valiant attempt again. She had to go higher than what she was capable of today. 105 are best, and that's good for the bronze. Uh, began to go wrong down, she knew it. And her coach, by the way, a bit of a smile as he was on the way up as he knew that that was going to be it. So now, Elaytan Ibrahim, who has secured the silver medal, Looking to clear 120 again. Ibrahim for 120. She has won the silver in her first major global championship. Hey. 
Well, like last time, she's got it up there, but was that a bit more successful? It'll be a split call. It's 2-1 against her. And Ibrahim finishes on 110, but that's still good enough to get her the silver medal. Great effort. Her first World Championships, her first big event, and she gets the silver. Nigeria's fourth medal, her first silver, two gold and a bronze as well. Egypt, the bronze through Gihan Abdelaziz. But now, Tan Yu Zhao, who has won the gold, her second world title, and she's going for a new world record of 139. Set a world record of 138, one of the Asian Championships in Almaty at the end of 2015. That was 138, then went to 138.5 in Rio in claiming gold at the Paralympic Games. She's all the titles. She's the Asian champion and the Asian Games champion. World champion now for a second time. Paralympic champion to 139 for a new world record. Ah! <laughs> concentration of a great champion. Oh. Oh. No. 139 with a world record. She's got it raised. Will she get it? Two to one against. She may fancy another pop of that then. She can have that go in the fourth round, but maybe declaring at 135. She's the world champion again. Good stab at 139. But she had got it raised. There was two and against. Surely she's going to come back. She's entitled to, and she's going to go for it again. Into the power lift, 139. She'll have another stab at it. She was really close to that world record last time. So it's definitely worth having a go again. Gets to three minutes this time. The clock is running. Tan can take her time. Hundred and thirty and hundred and thirty five missed a hundred and thirty nine. Everybody had uh, an attempt in that third round, missed out. Crowd have got going. Tan's happy to bide her time. Bit of movement you'll see in the tunnel now.
And here she comes. They've had a great time. Nobody from Mexico represented in this first final of the day, the women's 67. They've seen a good world record try, and now they're going to witness another. So Tan here again. So close to that world record last time. Got it raised. There was just the, the two one vote going against it from the referees. <laughs> See, she goes again. World champion once more. Paralympic champion, Asian Games champion, Asian champion full stop. Broke her world record to win in Rio. Trying to break her world record again here, having won and retained her world title. 139 for Tan, and that's too difficult. Well, she came really immensely close last time, not this. But a terrific champion, Tan Yu Zhao is. 135, the winning effort and won it with her first round attempt of 130. Tan Yu Zhao will have to wait maybe for the Asian Para Games in Kuala Lumpur to have another good stab at that. But she gets the gold medal, the second world crown. Tan takes it, 135, Ibrahim, the silver for Nigeria, and Gihan Abdulaziz, the bronze for Egypt, and having come immensely close to it with the previous attempt, the energy, I guess, was all depleted by then, and there wasn't another strong lift left. He took it well. She'll be taking the gold medal well shortly. Medal ceremony is on the way. But it's Tan Yu Zhao who gets the victory with 135. Ibrahim the silver for Nigeria. And Abdulaziz Pipping Sibel Cham for the bronze for Egypt.